Hi friends, in this lecture we start a new chapter and the name of the chapter is Mean Value Theorems. In this we discuss Rolls Mean Value Theorem, Lagrange's Mean Value Theorem, Cauchy's Mean Value Theorem and Generalized Mean Value Theorem. So now what is Rolls Mean Value Theorem? Suppose f is any function which is mapping from closed interval a, b to r such that f is continuous on closed interval a, b, f is derivable on open interval a, b and f of a equal to f of b then there exist c belongs to a, b such that f dash of c equal to 0. So this is the statement of Rolle's mean value theorem. f is mapping from closed interval a, b to r such that f is continuous on closed interval a, b, f is derivable on open interval a, b, f of a equal to f of b, then there exists at least c belongs to a, b such that f dash of c equal to 0. See, now, so this is the geometrical interpretation of Rolle's mean value theorem. Suppose if we consider two points a and b on x axis, so here at capital A, this is f of A and this is f of B. If you draw a line here, so these two are equal. That means f of A equal to f of B. Now, so from this definition, f dash of C equal to 0 means at any point C, see this f dash of C equal to 0 means the slope of this is parallel to x axis. So now draw a tangent line to this curve AB. So consider any point C on this tangent at C. So this line is, this tangent line is parallel to x axis. That means slope of this line is 0. That means f dash of C equal to 0. Similarly, you can see this curve also. Here also this tangent line is parallel to x axis here also f dash of c equal to 0. Now we will consider few problems on Rolle's mean value theorem. Suppose see this verify Rolle's mean value theorem for the function x square minus 1 on the interval minus 1 to 1. So the given function you consider f of x equal to x square minus 1. So what is Rolle's mean value theorem? Suppose f is any function from a, b to r, then f is continuous on closed interval a, b, f is derivable on open interval a, b, f of a equal to f of b. Any polynomial function. So this is x square minus 1 is continuous on the interval minus 1 and 1 and f is differentiable on the interval, open interval minus 1 and 1. Now we have to check for f of a equal to f of b. So a value is here minus 1 and b value is 1. So find f of minus 1. What is f of x? f of x equal to x square minus 1. So put x equal to minus 1. So minus 1 whole square minus 1. This is 0. Again find f of b. f of b. b value is 1 in this. So find f of b. Put x equal to 1. So 1 square minus 1. So it is 0. Therefore f of minus 1 equal to 0. f of 1 equal to 0. That means f of minus 1 equal to f of 1. That means this given function is continuous, differentiable and f of minus 1 equal to f of 1. So there exists c belongs to the given interval, open interval minus 1 to 1 such that f dash of c equal to 0. Now we have to find the value of c and check this value. The value of c is lies inside of the given interval or not. If the value of c is lies inside of the interval, then the theorem is verified. Now we have to find f dash of c equal to 0. From this we have to calculate c value. Since f of x equal to x square minus 1, find the derivative of f of x. Why you are calculating the derivative of f of x since you need f dash of c. 
so for this first find the derivative of f of x so f dash of x equal to 2x constant this value is 0 now f dash of c equal to 0 from the definition so f dash of x equal to 2x means f dash of c is 2c from this c equal to 0 so 0 is lies inside the interval minus 1 and 1 so therefore theorem is verified what you are calculated first f is continuous f is derivable and you checked for f of 1 equal to minus 1 then there exists you calculated c value and you have to check this c value is lies inside of the given interval or not see one more example verify the rolls mean value theorem for the given function log x square plus 2 minus log 3 in the given interval is minus 1 and 1 so now you have to consider the given function is f of x so let f of x equal to log x square plus 2 minus log 3 where x belongs to the given interval minus 1 and 1 since f is continuous in the given interval minus 1 and 1 and f is differentiable on the given interval minus 1 and 1 now we have to check for f of a equal to f of b a value is in this also minus 1 and b value is 1 f of minus 1 so in this we have to replace x with minus 1 log minus 1 whole square plus 2 minus log 3 so minus 1 whole square means 1 1 plus 2 is 3 log 3 minus log 3 is 0 again find f of 1 in this we have to replace x with 1 so log 1 square plus 2 minus log 3 so again you get 0 therefore f of minus 1 equal to f of 1 so f is continuous on closed interval minus 1 comma 1 and f is differentiable on open interval minus 1 and 1 and f of minus 1 equal to f of 1 so therefore by the rolls theorem there exists c belongs to minus 1 comma 1 such that f dash of c equal to 0 from this we have to calculate c and check that c values lies inside of the given interval or not since f dash of x is log x square plus 2 minus log 3 find the derivative of this function so f dash of x equal to derivative of log x is 1 upon x so derivative of log of x square plus 2 so consider this is x so log of 1 upon x square plus 2 and derivative of this inner function x square derivative is 2x derivative of 2 is 0 again log 3 is constant so this is also 0 therefore f dash of x equal to 2x upon x square plus 2 so now we have to find c since f dash of c equal to 0 from the definition of rolls mean value theorem so f dash of c equal to 0 you know the value of f dash of x so 2x plus sorry 2x upon x square plus 2 so now this x is replacing with c so 2c upon c square plus 2 equal to 0 so now we have to multiply this cross multiplication 2c equal to 0 from this we will get c equal to 0 again this 0 is lies inside of the interval minus 1 and 1 therefore rolls mean value theorem is verified by the given problem log x square plus 2 minus log 3 now we have to check these two we have to practice these two problems verify the rolls mean value theorem for the given function sin x minus sin 2x x belongs to 0 comma pi and second one is verify rolls mean value theorem for the function log x square plus a b upon a plus b of x where x belongs to a b we have to check we have to find out the value of c and check that the c v value is lies inside of the given interval or not if the value is lies inside of the given interval then the theorem is verified